Hey everyone, it's Richard Payne here from Kelly Williams Select Realty and the RPM Real Estate team and we are here today with Danielle Hardy. Hi! Because we need to introduce you to some new mortgage rule changes that are going to take effect. So stay tuned and we'll fill you in. Hey everyone, so let's get into the detail of what's going on. So Danielle here is from Premier Mortgage Centre and you've got all of her contact details somewhere around here. I think we'll put them on afterwards. But she's the one that's got the expertise, the knowledge and the understanding of exactly what's going to happen. So Danielle, start with the big questions. First of all is what are the history of the changes? So we know this change is coming, but what's the history behind the changes so far? Okay, so you're hearing in the news a lot about OSFI, which stands for Office of the Superintendent of Financial Institutions. And they're the ones who are kind of making the regulations and the rules for the banks. Um, and their main goal is to keep Canadians' economy um, in good standing yeah. so that we don't have uh, what happened down in the US. We don't want that. We don't. We don't. We don't <laughs> at all. So, you know, although the changes may seem scary and you hear a lot on the media, um, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Right. So in terms of the changes then, what are the changes that are coming in? So there is a few changes. Um, one is, and I'm not sure how this is going to look, but it's more scrutiny of the loan to value right. on properties. Another one is they're going to stop bundled lending, which um, that's putting kind of two loans on one property yeah. to change the loan to value on it. it. It doesn't affect a lot of people, but it is one of the changes. But the big one yes. is the stress test, um, <laughs> which has already been in effect right. um, since last October now. And that's the one that's in the media and everybody is talking about because it's going to affect how much somebody can qualify for. There it is. Yeah. So. Okay. So let's talk about why we need the changes. So we know this change is coming and it's a stress test and everything else, but why do we need the changes? Well, again, we need it um, to make sure that people qualify for the mortgage that they're in. Um, we want people to buy a home, enjoy a home, and stay in the home. We don't want to be house poor. No. no, and you know, we're in a rising interest rate uh, area right now. This is what's going on. and. The government wants to ensure that people are prepared for it yeah. so they're making them qualify at a higher rate which they have been doing since last october um which people who had less than 20 percent down yeah the insured commonly mortgage known, world right insured yeah. cmhc genworth um they had to qualify at a higher rate of 4.89 or whatever the bank of canada benchmark rate is it's yeah. currently 4.99 um so all of those people had to qualify that but anybody who put more than 20 percent down didn't have to qualify at they that okay. they if they were taking a five-year term they could qualify at the contract rate um so there's a big difference between qualifying at a rate of say 4.99 and <laughs> uh you know maybe 3.39 yes in the uninsured world yeah um so i did put together a little scenario of somebody yeah. who say they're making sixty thousand, doesn't have a lot of debt um, right now, today, if they were calling me to get a mortgage and they had 20% down and we're taking a five-year term at 3.39, yeah. then they would qualify for a mortgage of about 243000 Right. So as of January 1st, if they call me with the same scenario, they don't necessarily have to qualify at the benchmark of Canada rate. They have to qualify at 2% higher than what their contract rate is going to be. Right. So it's even a little bit higher. Um, so they're putting 20% down. And so let's say the rate was 3.39. They would have to qualify at a rate of 5.39. Which is higher than the five year bank posted rate. Exactly. Yeah. Higher than somebody who has insured. Yeah. So what happens is their purchasing power is reduced. And so that same scenario, just changing the rate that they qualify for, goes from 243,000 down to a mortgage of about 198,000. Okay, that's a really big difference in your expectation of number one, what you can buy, and number two, the standard of what you're gonna buy as well. And that's the key takeaway. Yes, it, it's not all doom and gloom. Um, True, yeah. You know, it, we are in a rising interest rate environment and we wanna make sure people can afford yes. the homes and they can afford the rates going up and this is one way that it's happening. Yeah, yeah, because we don't want the slump like the US had with a ton of foreclosures and everything else because 
we're in Canada, we're a lot more stable, we're a lot more conservative, and we don't want that happening to us. So we can understand a lot of the reasons why. So yes. when are the changes coming to effect? When is this going to happen? So officially, the changes are going to take place on January the 1st of 2018. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Um, however, we, nothing confirmed yet, but we are hearing rumors that some of the institutions may actually even start earlier than that. Really? That they may start in December. Wow. Um, I don't want to cause panic because I think, and you would agree, that yeah. you know, when you're ready to buy, you're ready to buy. Exactly. And yeah. you know, it's no rush to jump out and try to get into something you're not ready nope. for. Definitely um, not. That's how you just, make mistakes. Exactly. Yeah. But it's knowing what you need to know to qualify and yeah. to be ready, and that's why you talk to us professionals, and exactly. so we can help you with that. Yeah. And the one thing we've always said to everybody who's looking to buy a home is, there's two things. Number one, you want the right area, you want the right style of house, you want everything. But don't go shopping for something if you don't have money in your pocket. So this is where Danielle comes in because she can talk to you about how much money is in your pocket to go and actually find the right house. We would love to show you million dollar homes, but if you can't afford a million dollar home, all that's gonna happen is you're gonna get upset with me because <laughs> I'm showing you something that you can't afford. So that's why you get in touch with Danielle and that's why you actually go through the pre-qualification. You understand how these changes are gonna affect you and then you adapt. You change what your needs are, your area, your style of home, everything. And I think that's the biggest thing that's a takeaway here is it's not here to scare you, it's not here to shock you, it's not here to punish you. It's here to actually make sure that you can actually afford the quality of the house and therefore your lifestyle because we don't want you house poor. That's not the point. The point is to own a home, enjoy it, but still have a life outside of a home. So that's the big thing. So, Danielle, if people want to get in touch with you, there's details coming up somewhere, but if they can get in touch with you, how do they want to do it? Uh, I am easy to get in touch with. You can email me. I'm on Facebook at uh, Danielle Hardy Mortgages, Instagram, D Hardy Mortgages. Um, cell phone? And my cell phone number is 902-430-3265. Great. Or email. If you're email as well it's a long one <laughs> we'll put the email we'll put after the detail the detail yeah. will come up <laughs> true exactly and like I say if you want to get in touch with me to find out how me and Danielle work closely together to actually make sure it works for you and you find the right house in the right area and everything's great and you have a wonderful existence in this new home then you can always get in touch with me at 902-489-1804 or richard at rpmrealestate.ca but all the details are coming up so stay tuned if you have any questions just reach out and ask us Yes, and Richard, I'd like to thank you for having me today. And yeah. we've worked together closely with a lot of clients. Exactly. And they have great reviews and yeah. they love your professionalism. Yeah. And it's a pleasure to be here today. Yeah. So thank you. And it's about finding the right person to work with who can yes. get the deal done. <laughs> I'm great. I can negotiate and I can find the right house. But without the purchasers getting financing, I'm stuck. Sorry, it's just the way it is. <laughs> Happy house hunting. Okay, take care.